Up for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2008 Mercedes Benz ML 320 diesel, formatic, which means all wheel drive. Black on the outside with black leather interior, completely loaded up, factory navigation, color backup camera, power tailgate, factory power moonroof, running boards, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is their zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right, let's go ahead and let's get inside, get it started, show you all the interior options. All right, the door panels are charcoal black with a wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power mirrors, power tailgate, like I said before. Has your Hardman Kardon stereo sound system, driver's side power seat, power recliner, and memory for up to three drivers. You got curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags on the front seats and also the second row seats. You got automatic headlights that come on at sunset and come off at sunrise, power tilt wheel. And it's also telescopic, meaning you can make it come out to you or push it away from you. All right, let's go ahead and let's get it started now. Show you all the interior options. This one's loaded up. All right, this diesel, when you open it up, you should actually open, hold the switch open for just a second, but I've had it running for a little while, so I'd, you don't really need to do that. That's ideally better when it's cold. All right, well, the navigation boots up. Let's go ahead and open the power moonroof so we can get a little bit of lighting here for the video. It is a glass moonroof. It is tinted, but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun. And it's a one touch. You don't have, you don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open. And we're gonna leave it open for the duration of the video so we can get a little bit of lighting. All right, um, let's check out our map here. And there's your navigation screen here with your map. Put the vehicle in reverse, you get the color backup camera. Put it back in park. All right, the vehicle has 93,749 miles. Uh, the car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on no airbag light no service engine soon no maintenance zoom, nothing like that the only light that you see on there is a seat belt light because i'm not wearing my seat belt to shoot a video below the odometer reading there you have the outside temperature which believe it or not i don't know if it's quite 100 degrees but it feels like it. it's got to be on the upper 90s um and you're also tells you what gear you're in all right um let's go ahead and uh, check the, this area here in the center start from the bottom up here in the center console here where you rest your elbow, you do have storage, okay? Cup holders here in the center. A little storage pocket here. Well, actually, that's not a storage pocket. That is your cigarette lighter. And if you look at it, it doesn't look like it's been used much. By the way, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and no odor of smoke. All right, down here you get your um, descent control and different settings for terrain. Dual climate control. I'm going to put the passenger side, let's say, at uh, 68. And all that really does is it makes these two AC vents here and here blow at 68. Well, the ones, the ones on the driver's side will blow at maximum low or whatever it is you set it to. Since it's so hot out there, I'm going to put it at maximum again. All right. Um, uh, you also have a Bluetooth capability here. Uh, you can answer your phone here and hang it up over here. Or you can do it from the remote controls on your steering wheel. Let's go ahead and put some music. the volume we can do it right here okay and lower it here 
All right, these buttons over here are for your onboard computer, which is going to display over here for your personal settings and systems checked and all that. You do also have an analog clock over here. Uh, let's see here. What else? Up in the mirror here, you got an auto dimming rear view mirror. It has a sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Below the mirror, you got these three little buttons. That is your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. All right, uh, let's see here, what else? You got um, visors here with vanity lights. Okay. Uh, and your main glove box is over here. And in here, you got your uh, CD changer and also your iPod interface. Uh, let's see here, what else? Let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see it's also in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes whatsoever. Just in really, really nice shape. All right. Uh, oops, sorry, lost my control of the camera for a second. Okay, you do also have a, a automatic transmission has a manual shifting mode. You notice these tabs in the back of the steering wheel, one here, and you got another one on this side as well. Okay. Once you put your car on drive, if you want to make it shift manually, you'll notice now it says drive. Well, if I tab on the tab of the, on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you'll see it tells me D1, and that is, uh, means that now you're controlling it manually, so you can make it shift up or down by tabbing on those tabs. Okay. If that doesn't interest you, just leave it on the um, uh, leave it on the D mode here, and the automatic transmission will do the shifting for you. All right. Let's go ahead and. Uh, uh, let's check out the power windows. They are they all work obviously, and they're one touch. And what I mean by that is this: you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down or up, for that matter. You do have also power folding mirrors. You press the button in the center here. Okay. All right. And then uh, one touch up on the uh, power window. And you don't have to hold it for that. You got a leather wrapped steering wheel. This is in beautiful shape. I'm going to go ahead and pan around it now um, so you can see the perfect shape. Um, in the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always close on Sundays. All right. Um, uh, I don't know if I told you, you got your cruise control over here. And um, I think we're pretty much ready to move on to the back. I think I've covered everything there is to cover here. Again, if I miss something, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. Be glad to go over anything I may have missed on the uh, video. All right, you got storage pockets here on the side. And this area here is for like a bottle of water. All right, these MLs are five passenger vehicles, two in the front and three in the back. There is no third row seats on MLs. And like I said before, you have seat side bags also on the rear seat here. These here are your an anchors for your baby car seat. You can put your baby car seat on either two of the outer positions. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as a cup holder or armrest. All right, if you want to go into storage mode, um, first you're going to pull up on this uh, here. To lift the seat up and now you're going to pull up in this handle here and let it go down and it lays down almost completely flat now to close it you just push up here be careful because sometimes the seat belt kind of wedges itself in there so you want to make sure you pull it out and then now when this is showing red it means it's not properly locked down when you push it here this is going to go right into the slot here and this should turn back to black when it's when it go black like that that means that it's set and you can adjust these headrests up or down by the way all right so when you're done going into cargo mode you push this down here all right in the back of the center console uh, there are AC vents for the rear row passengers and there's also AC and stereo controls for the rear row passengers as well you got a cigarette lighter adapter weight on there and a uh, another ashtray here all right uh, curtain side airbags also on the rear posts and map lights for the cargo area Left rear door panel, same way, black with a wood trim, the chrome door handle, and the silver accent here. All right, let's move on to the cargo area. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Uh, again, it's the ML320 CDI. It's a turbo diesel, 4MATIC, which means all-wheel drive. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. No cracks, no cuts, no tears. You do also have a class three 
heavy duty towing package for all your um, towing needs with an electrical connection right there ready to go for all your towing needs. Oops, repeats myself. All right, I repeated myself. Rear wiper and this rear glass, you got the little orange lines, which is your rear window defroster. Open up the power tailgate, you just simply squeeze the tailgate handle, or you could do it by pressing the switch on the driver door panel or on your remote. All right, this is a cargo area and it's very spacious, so it's unlikely you're gonna go into cargo mode, but as you can see, you can go into cargo mode. And right here, what we got is a 60-40, um, 60% on this side, 40% on this side, and you could flip down both sides at the same time, or you could do one side and not the other. So let's say you wanted to put a large box over here, and you still need the sitting capacity over here, you can do this side and not that side, or you can do them both, or vice versa. You got another cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers. Underneath here is where you're gonna have your uh, spare tire, and it's a, uh, and it's a spare, this spare tire doesn't, looks like it's never even been on the ground. And you got all your tools and everything that you need to change your spare. All right, uh, now to close the tailgate, we could do it three different ways. By pressing the switch here, pressing the switch on the driver door panel or your remote control. All right, let's come around to the passenger side. After that, we'll pretty much conclude the video. Like I said before, you have the effective running boards for the little kids and the older people to get on. Right rear door panel. Sure by now you notice and that the panels have no cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no cracks. You do have a little storage here and no, no uh, damage to the speakers either. Even this little uh, mesh here back here, it's nice and tight. And uh, no baby car indentations. Really, really nice shape here. There's a cover here. That is missing on this side. We ordered. We're waiting for it to come in. It's a, just a little plastic cover that pops in there, and it looks like this one just fell out, and, or the or the little tabs are messed up. So we're gonna go. We already ordered that. As soon as it gets here, we're gonna install it. But that's just a plastic cover that looks like this. That is missing on there. All right. Uh, give you a look at the headliner. You can see in perfect shape. Vehicle is really, really well taken care of. Outside and inside. All right, right front door panel, same way. Here's the owner's manual with its casing and all the booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. Power seat, power recliner, and memory for up to three passengers as well, just like the driver's side. Let's go ahead and pan over the seating area. All right, before we conclude this video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away, you're concerned about the financing, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right at the top of the page, you'll see a, silver, a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's gonna do it for the video in this unit. I wanna thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.